Water for Elephants brings a circus to Broadway this spring. It's based on a best-selling novel from 2006, and it actually features real circus performers. I think it honestly, it's unlike anything you've ever seen before. I think we've seen circus, I think we've seen great Broadway musicals, but we've never seen a circus musical where all of the circus elements are there to support the narrative. They're all character driven, diegetic as it were. It's really, really beautiful the way the circus elements are both spectacular, but also grounded within the, the narrative story. There is obviously amazing, thrilling moments involving circus and choreography, but I think Jessica Stone uh, Rick Ellis, they have, and, and, and Pigpen have balanced the experience to have such wonderful, intense, intimate moments. And the story is about circus, and I think the show contains all the thrills and the drama and the romance and the danger that you might find in a circus show. The things that happen on that stage are spectacular. At the same time, there is an emotional experience too that will happen for the audience. And I hope the combination of those two make the audience feel like, I'm so glad I came and I'm gonna tell all my friends. The collaboration between the different departments of circus and music and, and puppetry and lighting design, it, it all feels like the most collaborative production I've ever been a part of and it, was, it seemed like the best opportunity to learn so much too. I mean, I'm literally getting to learn how to be on a trapeze and sing these illustrious songs by Pigpen Theatre Company and, and then dive into these characters written both by Sarah Grun originally and then Rick Ellis. It just felt like, I deep in my gut, I knew that this role was going to take me to the next level of my own artistry and the next level of my career. So it was like a no-brainer for me. For me, I mean, I really, after being away for so long, knew I wanted to get on stage when I wrapped up um, Flash after 10 years of doing Flash. And Flash? <laughs> after 10 years of playing one character on TV, I mean, I really wanted to get on stage again. And I was scared for it to be a musical, actually. Like, I kind of I dreamed of it being a straight play because I was scared to sing again. And, um, but we're singing, baby. We sang it. But we He's sing it. it. Going back and reading the book now, sometimes I come across a part where that's a song now, and there are, yeah. you know, there's writing in there that we're like, oh, yeah, but it actually, we just lifted this. This is the song, and it's yeah. a testament to Sarah's writing. We have a lot of different kind of fans singing this show. I think we have fans of like circus, we have fans of all these incredible Broadway superstars, and yeah. we have fans of the book, and fans of our brand. music, yeah. And, and yeah. Uh, most importantly, fans of our music. Yeah. So all of these different people are are coming together for this so and supporting us, which is really exciting. I, I think it's important often as an actor to do things that scare you, and admittedly this role scared me. It's, he's, a, he's a wonderful, very colorful, very driven, very front-footed. To be honest, I, you know, I think it, the big draw for me was I thought it would be a challenge. Quite literally jaw-dropping moments, um, soaring, thrilling melodies, but there are moments of quiet, mm. there are moments of stillness, there are moments of pain and reflection that really, really make the joy and, and um, any of the high points, both visually and emotionally, truly earned. And you really do go on a journey. And then they ask you emotionally and in terms of your imagination to do it all, which I know as an actor, that's the best thing I can hope to be a part of.